Good afternoon, folks. Back on the boat again. So, today, apart from clearing up and doing some odds and sods, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Well, I've, I've ordered some more of this soundproofing stuff, but what I want to try and do, and what I've just done is uh, I've filled in that part there where there was some conduit with some, some extra padding. Uh, for the soundproofing to go over the top. I'm just going to case that cable in there and this cable in here for the socket and USB port and I need to build a straight edge along the gunnel wall because the gunnel wall or the lower wall runs at an angle and the dinette that John's built for us is straight so I need to try and level off that edge as much as I can i worked it out roughly that if I put a 25mm bead all the way along the top edge and fit some 5mm board, which I've got here, I've got it cut at b &Q earlier today, then that should, uh, that should all be well give me my straight edge because uh, it's about 30mm, the difference is. Fingers crossed anyway. I'm going to end up with another uh, open edge on this face going down there but um, I'm gonna ask if John can build us a corner unit and that will cover that then anyway so all's well so what I've also purchased from Amazon is some 10 mil split conduit I'm having trouble going over the ceiling the existing ceiling with the gap that's there at the moment uh, the only way I could get over it with 20 mil conduit is to take it down and cut some of it out and then put the ceiling back and I ain't doing that. So I bought some 10 mil. Hopefully this should do the trick. It was about 10 meters of it for I don't know, about 11 quid or something like that, or 10 quid on uh, on Amazon. So I'm gonna see how that works out. Fingers crossed. It'll do its justice. What I also want to try and do is protect the cable as much as I can, uh, going inside the gunnel as well. That's the cable protected. Here's my 25mm bead. Right. Need that 72 inches long from the wall. For a table, I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> Always best to make sure, any. Nice. Right, so I Google. It's a 71 to 76 centimeters, or 30 inches high. Average table height. I'm assuming that's the bottom, because that's the that table's higher than that. Oh, surely. I don't want to be able to see the socket because if the dog goes underneath, he'll chew the plugs because it's a bloody nightmare. So if there's a 24 mm bead going on there. It's all starting to look like a crumpet. Uh, how many holes in it? Stand it, you know, when there's not enough cable left. I always like to leave spare just in case somebody owns it after us, wants to do something, or change the socket and cuts the cable too short. You just never know.
what I'll do is I'll get the bulkhead board, put that onto the wall, and then put this board against it, fix it, and pull the bulkhead back out. And now I've got the gap right there. You learn all these things as you go along. I've made tons of mistakes, you know, on the way. Good learning curve, though. I like it nice and clean. So like I said before, there's a little gap on the side as you'll see. I'm just going to get a corner unit built there and I can sort that out there. What else also I'm going to have a look at today, while I've got time, let's put this over here. It's the duck etch. So yesterday, John cut me down some wood that was about 17 mil. I'll show you what's up with with the duck catch. Let's just extend this a little bit. Do we need any light? Doesn't make that much of a difference. There's a huge gap in between it. And that was covered with a piece of wood, but there's still like a large gap down there. I don't like it. Plus, uh, the duck catch is not rebated, which I've, uh, I've, I've been learning some wood terminology as I've been speaking to John or whatever, but at the moment now that's just open to the elements. There's a hole there now which is huge. So I'm going to get some weed hatch uh, seal, put it down this lip because that's set back a little bit as well. Put it down this lip, rebate it a little bit, get some new locks uh, on the top and bottom. Or maybe just on the yeah top and bottom, and then um, hopefully it'll all pull together and it'll be nice and tight and spider proof. Uh, that was the one thing that Shell was pointing out on our first video. So I've never used a nail gun either before. John's just borrowed me his nail gun. I'm gonna use some Gorilla glue. Grabbed anything apparently. Sealing down this bit of wood down the one edge. I'll be with you again in a minute. There's too many lengths of that bloody hose everywhere. I'm going to get this on straight as I can. I've never used a nail gun either before. Let's see what this does. That's a bit awkward.
Okay. All being well. I can get some wood filler in that now. Fingers crossed it'll shut. of a gap now if you're talking more two three mil three mil say so yeah it's just not it's not closing well at all so I can only shut this lock at the minute so I'm gonna take these out put that rebate in and yeah get some new locks and stuff on it it will uh, hopefully that will do the business back on the boat again today I was working this morning so uh, I couldn't do anything I don't think I'm going to record anything for today because I need to clear up all of this mess and move it either out the way, down the way, uh, don't know, just yeah, get move it, put it in the bedroom I suppose because we got a dinette. So <laughs> welcome to our dinette, it's in pieces, what we're looking at is a small double bed it will make we haven't got the um, tabletop for it yet it's uh, it's a it's gonna be a 24 inch two foot um, tabletop and one section of the seat is two foot and the other one is two foot so it'll make a six foot bed just a, a nice small bed for uh, either my son or the grandson to come and stay it'll be a space for them to lie down and get some kip um, so yeah I need to make some space to get this installed he's pretty much broke it all down to flat pack furniture so it's almost like Ikea stuff um, he's still a great job for me so he's marked it all off he's got a, a few more bits on in the workshop that need cutting down but um, yeah I've also got some pads some of those pads that I've got to stick in tomorrow and then I can get the bulkhead in as well oh, I never thought about that so I need to move these down so I can get the bulkhead in um, anyway I've just got to do a ton of clearing which you don't need to watch me clean do you well, I think we started with the kitchen cupboard so I might as well end with them uh, a few hours worth of cleaning plus a couple of other things so all of that now is ready for the dinette some nice workspace there for cutting anything up measuring um, bringing anything out whatever so with the stuff I've done today then I've managed to uh, get some speaker cabling uh, I don't know whether it's the radio or it wasn't fused right or the cables wasn't right I don't know but I got some yellow one and a half mil time flex that I've had for a while now uh, so I'm not going to use that neither so I've put that in for the speakers. Um, I've put some conduit in in some places. Um, I'll just have to drop some more conduit in there. But they're ready and labelled up. Speaker one with one tape on. Speaker two with two pieces of tape on. So I've managed to get the speaker cable in for uh, the radio. So I've managed to get that done at least. Oh, what I have uh, done as well. I've not fixed it back in yet because I've left my talk bits at home but I've put this panel in back and this bulkhead so I've not got to do any wiring around there the only one problem I've had today uh, I'm trying to run oops, the fridge supply now uh, it's not ideal that it runs alongside uh, 240 volt but usually what we used to do in the past is if it was crossing so an actual cross not running along with the 240 volt uh, there's less chance of it being affected at all by it plus it's going to be wrapped up in conduit but I'm having trouble uh, let's get the light on so I'm having trouble fishing it from that area there to there because about here is some metal work and it's right flush up against the board uh, and, I, and I'm assuming it's because the boat's starting to draw in 
and the metal work's getting closer to the board as it goes along but further on down I put a socket in down here and it was about 10 mil maybe a little bit more away from the board so I could fish the cable behind it but there we go it's just one of those things um, so yeah that's pretty much all I've got done today as well as clearing up that's just took the longest to be fair uh, yeah all done for today gotta go to off for a bit well folks nearly six at night and the nights are drawing in now I didn't get around to trying this a second time round, but there we go so I only had a few hours at the boat today because of work and stuff but I've done a bit more wiring as you'll probably see now so I've got my switch wires ready to pull over there into my switch I've got some six mils to feed my lights in the bedroom and the gulp pump as well for the toilet sink I've managed to put you'll see with the installation at the back I think yeah there it is that sound mat stuff and I've put that on and put the board back so that's sorted I managed to get the lights in for the shower area and uh, the neutral there what I'm going to do is put a piggyback um, piggyback crimp on that so I can feed the neutral to the toilets and have a separate switch and there's my six mil just got to finish the conduit work going to the bedroom and feeding that gulper which will supply that sink hopefully all being well so tomorrow what I want to try and do is utilize this 25 mil conduit which I ran the fish wire in the other day and had to fetch back out um, and yeah start running my bedroom circuits in so oh, I'm gonna try and concentrate on that tomorrow if I can fingers crossed um, I still don't know what to do about the whale pump uh, I've got some eight and a half mil cable to run but it would mean I'd have to run another conduit anyway I've got to run 11 cables pretty much from the fuse board all the way down to the bottom of the boat to feed the tunnel light the horn which has got three cables the uh, whale pump the USB port that's just there yeah that's I think that's about 11 wires altogether once you've got those bits and pieces in then it will be all of the cross connections for all of the light fittings 